we've already heard, we've all been wrestling with economic, environmental, educational and health challenges in 2020. It hasn't felt like a great year, but technological developments, 5G coupled with artificial intelligence, analytics, digitization and automation, have the potential to change the game. So let's look at what 5G can do for us all. Our analysis forecasts that 5G enabled use cases, that is use cases that require 5G coupled with other technologies, could add $1.6 trillion to GDP in 2030. That's the equivalent of over $200 in the pocket of every human on Earth. We looked at eight industries in detail, and in conjunction with executives from those industries, developed a set of 5G-enabled use cases, which we then quantified via surveys within each industry across developed and developing markets. We'll look at three industries in detail in a minute. But what is clear is that 5G can have a significant GDP impact in energy and extractives, that's oil, gas, mining, in manufacturing, in media, sports and entertainment, and in transport and logistics, where GDP increases range from 3.5 to nearly 5%. For example, transport and logistics can benefit directly from 5G in three ways. Firstly, by enabling better routing of deliveries and thereby reducing the percentage of vehicles running empty or with low capacity utilisation by enabling drones and robots to be used to deliver packages over the last 100 metres or so, saving time and fuel. And thirdly, by enabling traffic infrastructure, traffic lights and so forth, to be altered real-time to improve traffic flows. But more efficient and effective traffic infrastructure also has a knock-on effect to other industries by freeing up time for commuters and employees. Some of that time will be spent productively and realise an additional 2.2% of benefits in those other industries. Nearly half of the GDP benefits we forecast from 5G in 2030 come from manufacturing. In part, that is due to the sheer size of the industry. It is, after all, 20% and 30% of the US and China's economic output, respectively. And 5G can also generate big changes in manufacturing. We identified three use cases which collectively account for around 600 billion of the $740 billion uplift we forecast for manufacturing in 2030. The first is enterprise AR, that is using augmented reality headsets to guide a worker via augmented displays and or a video communication to a remote expert when carrying out maintenance and repair tasks on factory machinery. The second use case in precision monitoring and control involves the real-time monitoring and control of robots, machine tools, even the end product using hundreds of thousands of sensors. For example, this might involve changing the speed of a specific factory process based on sensor information about vibration, temperature, or even the composition of raw materials. And the third use case, Advanced Predictive Maintenance, uses sensors to give an accurate, real-time representation of the status of a machine so that downtime can be reduced by predicting problems ahead of time so that maintenance can be scheduled at times that do not disrupt the factory. As you can see, benefits are very significant, particularly for precision monitoring control and enterprise AR, both of which cannot happen without 5G. Predictive maintenance already exists, and 5G therefore only offers incremental benefits. Indeed, our survey respondents believe that 5G could increase manufacturing output from precision monitoring and control by over 8%, although STL Partners has only assumed a 3% improvement in 2030 in our model. The COVID pandemic has resulted in significant increase in digital health solutions, and the telecoms operators have stepped up. In Australia, Telstra is supporting ICUs in 191 hospitals to manage demand and availability for beds, protective equipment, respirators and dialysis machines. When COVID-19 broke out, Hong Kong Telecom accelerated the launch of its new virtual consultation app, Dr. Go, which is currently available to all PCCW and HKT employees in Hong Kong. And this focus on health solutions has created a fantastic launch pad for 5G-enabled use cases, such as high-definition virtual consultations, 
the remote monitoring of patients with multiple 5G enabled sensors, an ambulance connected to hospitals and specialist practitioners via high definition video. The use of 5G enables existing digital health solutions to be scaled up and extended with substantial impact on patient access and quality of care. By 2030, we forecast that 5G will enable hospitals to free up 4.2 million bed days, increasing global hospital bed capacity by 6%. It will enable nearly 900 million more patients to be seen by doctors and other medical practitioners, a whopping 15% uplift. It will allow ambulances to respond to over 40 million more emergencies, allowing thousands of lives to be saved. And it will enable more than 13 million more patients to be treated in A&E clinics. The social and health benefits for developing and developed nations are truly exciting. Turning to the issue of fossil fuels and CO2, it's clear that 5G can help in the global switch to renewable fuels and green electricity generation. Use cases such as advanced predictive maintenance, automated control of renewable energy production assets, such as wind farms, drone maintenance and repair, and sensors to protect this production equipment, as well as digital assistance for field engineers are all made possible by 5G. These use cases can substantially reduce the production costs of renewable energy, bringing it into line with the cost of producing energy from fossil fuels. This alone will have a huge impact on how national governments plan their energy production and accelerate the move to green. Furthermore, the ability to track demand for and supply of batteries and electric fueling stations will also shift usage to electricity for vehicles and other heavy users of fossil fuel. And finally, millions of 5G sensors measuring both the production and consumption of electricity will enable the supply and demand for energy to be more effectively balanced. For example, where the demand for electricity is not time critical, it can be matched to green energy production by following the sun or wind, rather than creating excess demand, which requires the use of fossil fuel. The effect of this will be to make the world a cleaner, healthier and more sustainable environment. Our forecasts estimate that 5G could reduce carbon emissions by almost 1% in 2030. That's over 250 million tonnes of CO2 in that year, primarily by accelerating the use of wind and solar energy over fossil fuels. This impact over the period 2020 to 2030 is equivalent to almost 1.7 billion tonnes of CO2 emissions. That's approximately 64 coal-fired power stations plant emissions in one year, or half of all Canada's CO2 emissions in 2018. The opportunities for 5G are clear, but success requires commitment from governments, enterprises, and most importantly, the telecoms industry. Mobile operators need to commit to investing in and beyond the network to facilitate the collaboration required to build the ecosystems that deliver benefits in manufacturing, health, renewable energy and other industries. Moving to a vertical strategy also means CFOs need to allocate resources differently. They must reduce capital expenditure and redirect resources towards developing platforms and services to deliver value to other enterprises beyond the network. This in turn will require different performance metrics to manage the new financial and operational models. STL Partners estimates that 3% or less of revenue is currently spent on the activities associated with network independent service innovation, including R&D, service delivery, product and service marketing, customer experience management, analytics and so on and this should grow to near 10% of revenue over the next 10 years as savings are made in network operations, sales and customer care by moving to digital channels and automating core processes. Senior management need to be committed, patient and persistent. Successful operators have combined both perseverance, in other words continuous investment, and flexibility, pivoting and refocusing things going to arise for the market conditions shift. 
For ambitious operators, 5G creates a tremendous opportunity to do and be more. An opportunity to generate more value for businesses and consumers. And now is the time for the telecoms industry to take the actions needed to realise that opportunity.